This is the slice knife. The EDC carry that will slice everything but you. <laughs> oh, he's even got the slogans. Now. Oh, yeah. So, this everyday carry is a portable pocket knife with a difference. As I said, it's designed to cut everything but you, and that's due to the ceramic blade technology. It will ultimately cut you if you do try hard enough, but with Slice Knife, it's got a nanotechnology that means it's slice resistant to your skin. So you can gently glide it across if you wanted to, just to, that's it, just test it out there, but you can see it doesn't slice open, but it's as effective as like a Stanley blade. Now it boasts 11 times longer lasting uh, longevity compared to a steel blade. And it is just 7.6 centimeters long. This pocket tool also has a lanyard hole. It feels great in hand and it's made from high grade heat treated stainless steel. Pressing on the lockable button, it reveals a 10 millimeter ceramic blade that is suitable for the left or right-handed as it's a two-handed open and close technique there. That's it, nicely demonstrated. Um, if you've got any of the other slice knives, you'll know that this takes the 10 404 replaceable blades. So you can always check them out on their website. There's refillable blades that you can get for this nice and easy it's safe to touch but you can still cut yourself and uh, this device here has an rrp of 19 pounds but i have linked this one below and i found it currently available at 16 really okay so i've used a fair amount of slice uh products before the ceramic blade ones yeah we Bo get a box cutting. We get a lot of packages here at the studio for the various videos we film, and um, opening a lot of boxes all the time. So I use the ceramic blades constantly, as effective as what's known as a Stanley blade, a stainless Stanley steel knife. knife. Yeah, definitely as effective, but they don't rust, which is huge. That's the first thing they don't rust. Anyone who's ever had a Stanley blade or a a razor blade style box cutter, they'll know that. Once they've opened the blade and exposed it to any kind of moisture, cardboard, glue, they start to corrode really quickly. Leave a knife, leave your blade out inside, and you'll notice it will just go rusty, it'll go Very dull. True. These really do last. Do they say ten times longer? I don't know the exact length. Eleven, eleven times longer compared to what a steel blade. Whatever the actual amount of time is, but um, they definitely last longer. The thing that really surprises me is how effective ceramic is at cutting. Ridiculous. Yeah, it is so kind on your fingers. Yeah, yeah. And I think they've really tapped a market there. I, I love what Slice are doing. So look, they've gone for workplace safety. Yeah. We know that everyone's got a Dave they have to work with. Dave. Oh, oh there he is. Dangerous Dave. Yeah. What's he up to now? He's licking the knife No, again. no, don't give Dave a Stanley knife. He can't be trusted. Oh, but I like to cut... No, okay, have a slice. Uh, can right. I cut with it? And the first thing he goes to do is check how sharp the blade is. Like, why would you do that? It's the first thing I did. I'll be honest. Am I the Dave? Oh, dear. Are in, you talking about me? In, this, a different in this scenario, uh, yes. I'm the Dave, aren't I? So, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Everyone goes to check how sharp a, a knife is by rubbing it on their skin. Obviously, if you do that, do it sideways. Don't be ridiculous. But with Slice Knife... I don't know how, I don't understand the science, but nanotechnology means that the way that the blade cuts, it doesn't have to be sharpened to the extent that a steel blade does. Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't feel, you know, I always test the knife sharpness by running against my, like the fingerprints. Yeah. It's sharp, but not like razor blade sharp. So I can literally, I can run it across my hands. But put it against cardboard... Bang, straight through. You, you do have to apply a little bit more pressure than you ordinarily would. Yeah. That's what I'll say. But once you get used to that, it's well, incredible. Th this one is a two-handed open-close technique. So it's got a switch there that you just pull pressure on and that pulls the blade out and then you can click it into it a locks lock open. position. Yeah. And then the lock here that you just press down and fold it away. However, 
if you're cool like me... Are you cool? Yeah, I'm super cool, because watch this. That's the kind of thing a Dave would do. No, Dave wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. That's, well, the, sing- that's see. the single one. Would Dave technique. be able to do it? More pressure, more speed, more more passion. I'm Dave, aren't I? More energy. I'm the Dave. Just look, you you can uh, oh nearly nearly you didn't hit the lock position. Yeah, no, you got to do it in one hit. Oh, okay. If you want to be super cool, just I, I'm the Dave. Flick. Oh, nearly not in the lock position. More power. More passion. Yeah. More footwork. More footwork. I mean, you're letting yourself down. I think I'm the Dave. Look, Slice Knife this is made for me. a huge range. There's a bigger version of this, a more commercial this aimed specifically version. is the EDC folding knife. Yep. That's what they're calling this. What I will say is it's teeny tiny, which is always a great thing for something you need to have on you an everyday carry. Pocketable. Uh, it looks nice, but also its build quality is incredible. Yeah, it genuinely I, feels like a really premium product. Th- there's not a slice product I'm not into. Yeah, if I'm honest, yeah. they've they've all got different pros and cons for different jobs. But this is like a coin pocket sort of carry. Yeah, wins. Yeah, um, I love the fact that it's got that little keyring hole, so you can whack it onto a, a, a keychain. You could definitely put that on a keychain without any issues. You can put it on a lanyard. They say that's a lanyard hoop. So I guess if you're in a factory style setting and you're yeah. cutting all the time. Yeah, you probably want it on your lanyard, but I can't, I can't ever imagine a scenario where I'm walking around with a knife on my lanyard. Y- yeah, I'm just. Is that, not, is that prison rules? I'm not a lanyard kind of person. Is that why you're wearing that jacket? Prison. Yeah. What? Is that why you brought in a knife? You're going to shift me with it? Oh my goodness! What's this is that what's happening into? here? Um, I just I love it, and look at the colours. Like they yeah. they do that really well. That kind of pop contrast. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, they're super easy to um, change over. So they are 11 times longer lasting. So they quote with slice. It's one of those things. Who really keeps track on that? You pinch there on the side. That releases the blade. You've got dual sided, just like you would have with your traditional metal cutting blades. And then you press it again. That's it. Slide it in. You've got about 10 millimeters revealed there at any one time. And it's a fixed position as well. Yeah. Um, like I say, I've it's not this one that i've been using but i have used another slice um cutting box cutter for over a year now on the same blade and i'm cutting literally boxes come every day here that we cut with them yeah Uh, and when i compare it to the state of the steel blade on my um multi-tool knife the knife's incredibly better off like I need to resharpen that. I love the fact. I don't with the same <clears throat> blade. They, they also have those uh, traditional styled blades that are recognised in the UK as Stanleys. Mm-hmm. That, so, for anyone that's kind of stuck in their lane, there, there's a swap over device. Yeah. But since you originally introduced me to them, I've I've been hooked. I think they're they're a great everyday carry. What um, did you say the RRP was on this? So it's like nineteen. Um, Such a good value. I found a link that I've shared below the video, 16. 16? So I, for me, that's that's a great point to jump in. Normally, I want to uh, like jive you for finding really cheap stuff, but um, that's genuinely really good value. It's, like, it's, great, it's great value. I haven't got a £2 product no. for this type of quality. You just you know you can't. No. You, you can't match it. If you want that ceramic technology, if you want metal chassis as well, you know, so you've got a lot going on there. And check out the orange. I love that bit. Yeah, punctuation. Great product. I'm definitely putting this in my pocket and taking it home with me. Thanks. So that's been our look at the EDC folding knife from Slice. I've got to be honest. I think I outdid myself there. I think you outdid. You, you surprised me in how yeah. good that was. No, thank you. Normally, the stuff you bring is rubbish. Yeah. Oh. And uh, yeah. if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. You can comment down below. That was awesome, Pete. And make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date with our future video releases. What about me? Oh, and there's a bell thing, so you'll get notified. Do that. I'm not the bell. I mean, that was awesome, AJ, too. No, no, no. When you said about what about me, it reminded me the bell. Uh, Hit the bell. Hit it. Do you know what the last bell to ring is? No. The bell end. We'll see you next time. Am I the bell end?